Welcome to another edition of Magic Minute. I'm Gary Rebnig, Activities Director at Monticello High School. I'm Jared Hines, Social Media Coordinator at Monticello Public Schools. We've had a great fall at Monticello. We want to do a quick uh, recap of how things turned out. We're going to start with boys cross country. Jared, back-to-back -back state tournaments for the boys this fall. Absolutely, we had a great performance again now at the University of Minnesota. Uh, they switched to the state tournament venue, but still another great showing by our boys. Yeah, outstanding. And then girls cross country, uh, Isabel Mahoney advanced for us. She's a sophomore, finished second in the state tournament. Outstanding season by Isabel. Absolutely, and she's coming back again. So, um, you know, she's not a senior yet, so we have her back for another season. So. All right, we're getting uh, into football now. District final, first time in like almost 20 years yeah, or approximately. 22 years. 22. Yeah, yeah. So uh, playing at Rogers in the finals, and uh, they scored with 22 seconds left to beat us. It was a, a heartbreaking loss, but I tell you what, so proud of our team. Just a balanced uh, approach uh, in football this year by the Magic. Absolutely. A really good game in the, in the section final there against Rogers. Um, had chances to win, and Rogers ultimately came back at the very end. Um, really good Rogers team, but looking forward to next season with Magic Football. Absolutely. Uh, soccer, uh, both teams had uh, strong seasons. We've been excellent soccer in the fall at Monticello. Our boys uh, won the conference this year, which was one of their goals. Made it to the section final. You and I were both at the semifinal. Big win at Delano on a Saturday. And then uh, Orono ended up being one of the top teams. Uh, beat us in the section final, but great season for Coach Burquist and uh, the boys his first year as their head coach. Yeah, absolutely, especially, you know, taking over for Coach Mack there. Peter did a great job with, um, you know, that senior class, strong senior class and leading them to the, the section final. Yeah, girls soccer, uh, third in the conference. We went up losing our, our first postseason game to uh, Big Lake, but uh, fun, fun team, uh, lots of talent. I know Bella Vasoli led us as a senior in scoring and um, she's going to head off and play in college. So uh, overall, again, fun team to watch. Uh, uh, we're bummed that they got beat out that first round of postseason, but um, a good season. Absolutely, yeah. Bella and a couple of other seniors like uh, Adrian, they had nine seniors, so very strong senior class that uh, helped the Magic have a successful season. Yeah. Um, adaptive soccer, the Coyotes' strongest uh, season in, in school history. Uh, we co-op with St. Michael and Buffalo, and. Uh, they ended six and four and made it to the postseason and one game away from the state tournament. Yeah. And the support that uh, we saw over at Monticello Middle School is unreal. Yeah, we saw a lot of our teams, other fall teams come and support the Coyotes. Uh, we've, we've said it multiple times, if you've never been to a Coyotes game, you gotta get there. Super fun to watch. All right, girls swimming and diving, uh, conference champs again, and uh, section champions this year. Went on to the state tournament. I was fortunate to be able to hand out medals there, and we ended up third in state and uh, crowned a couple uh, or some state champions and some uh, all state competitors. Yeah, absolutely. So Adeline Bigler repeated as a 50 free champion and 100 free champion. So she did it as an eighth grader, now she did it again um, as a ninth grader. So really cool to see that. A couple of our relay teams uh, took state runner up as well. So it's a really successful season to be third in state at the state tournament. Tennis, fourth in the conference. Uh, coach Kudrowski's first year as a head coach. Uh, saw some uh, improvement in the team and uh, I know she's looking forward to next year already with most of the team back and they, they definitely took some steps forward this year. Yeah, just a lot of girls out for girls tennis as well. Just a ton of, um, you know, the JV team was huge. The varsity team, uh, obviously very strong as well. And so a great season under first year head coach, Joe Kudrowski. All right, volleyball uh, conference champs again and a third straight trip to the state tournament. Uh, going in the, just a fun program going in the right direction. Right, absolutely. Uh, really fun to watch them at state, especially now that they've been there. You know, you talk to Coach Modaf and they've been there a few times before. And so it's fun to see some of those seniors get to be there for the third straight year um, and have a very successful time down there as well. They lost their opener at state, then won and then lost. So um, again, great uh, student support all year too. Just a, uh, a fun season for volleyball. Finally, our, our uh, fall musical. Uh, it's my 14th year and, and uh, I haven't seen a musical that I would say is better than what we put on this fall. The Beauty and the Beast, the students did an amazing job. Herfindahl is our director and um, just a, a 
wonderful performance. Yeah, you talk about senior leadership in sports like football, volleyball, but the senior leadership with the cast this year, um, you know, Sophie Rosh, Paul Fazen, a couple really strong um, upperclassmen that really put on a really strong performance of Beauty and the Beast. Yep. All right, that's a wrap up of our fall sports. Thanks for, for watching and remember, go magic.